What is going on, everybody? I didn't even have a video planned for today, but something has happened on social media today in my little circle of the internet that I could not lay my head on the pillow tonight without giving my thoughts on this issue. Uh, so if you've been on Facebook or Twitter today and you roll in the horror circles, you may have seen this poster, this Facebook post get shared around. It's been shared 32,000 fucking times today. And it's advertising a Nightmare on Elm Street TV series coming to HBO Max this October, directed by Rob Zombie, starring DJ Qualls as Freddy Krueger. The, the post reads Fred series on Max dash Rob Zombie with three exclamation points. Get ready for a chilling journey into the origins of terror with Fred, a gripping 10 episode event on Max streaming service this October, starring DJ Qualls as the titular character himself. Witness the transformation of Fred Krueger from evil man into nightmare slasher in this West Craven Studios production directed by Rob Zombie in his television series debut. Brace yourself for an unforgettable descent into darkness. Well, the only descent into darkness was me being depressed at the number of people that fell for this post and shared it with full seriousness and tagged me in it and I mean, I, all day long. My day has been plagued by this post. Now, I don't blame everybody. There's a couple of people that sent it to me or that tagged me in it that I just I know for a fact are not really that that deep into movie news or anything like that. They just saw a picture and got excited and, and tagged me and hoping to get some excitement on my end. So I don't, I don't blame them whatsoever. My dad was one of them. You're totally innocent. I get it. But there's a lot of people that should know better that are on the Internet every single day that are rolling in movie news circles and looking at things all day long and should be able to decipher at this point when something is so obviously fucking fake. Guys, what more did they have to put in this to let you know that this was fake? A TV series coming to Max based off of one of the most popular horror franchises of all time that the horror fan base has been screaming from the fucking mountaintops to come back for well over 13 years that this thing would just be announced out of the blue with a actual production based poster without any of us knowing anything about it that it would be directed by Rob Zombie a name that would set the fucking internet on fire for good reasons and bad reasons and DJ Qualls DJ fucking Qualls cast as Freddy Krueger do you know who DJ Qualls is do you know who DJ Qualls is do you know who DJ Qualls is? This guy. I'm blinded by white. Watch me. It's good. This fucking dude. You're telling me the skinny bitch from Road Trip is Freddy. Now, look, I, I already see a couple of comments saying, well, you're saying that he couldn't do it. Maybe he could. Maybe he could do a brilliant Freddy. It certainly leans into what I've been preaching for years now about get an unknown actor to play Freddy Krueger who can disappear into the role. He is absolutely the type of name that I have been talking about, saying uh, an actor like that with uh, a level of stardom, no disrespect to him, a level of stardom that he could slip into the role without being such a big name that we would only see the actor. Yeah, that's along the right lines, but give me a fucking break. DJ Qualls, the new guy as Fred Krueger, literally the only fucking thing that they could have put in this announcement to make it even more obvious of a fake than it is, is if they put Wes Craven was producing it. And I still don't think that would set a lot of alarm bells off. What the fuck is going on? This is what the fuck is going on. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> and the greater problem here, I understand being a movie fan or a fan of anything and you just you have that impulse. You see something and the, the poster, at least the makeup looks cool. So I understand like somebody seeing that and going, oh, my God, and just sharing it a lightning fast reaction without even thinking about it or taking the time to click, which we'll get into that in a second. But this kind of speaks to a greater problem in in modern society, really. I don't like to kind of get on soapboxes too often or to, to dive into things beyond movies, but. One of the worst things plaguing us as a society today, since social media has taken over our lives, is just blindly sharing things. Oh, that headline looks sexy. Oh, that's a cool picture. Let me just share it without looking into it whatsoever, without even clicking on the headline to read the actual article. You know you're guilty of it. I'm guilty of it. I've done it a couple of times. But since having a following, I've done 
my best, and I'm sure I still need to do better even beyond that, to not be that way because misinformation is a serious problem nowadays. A serious problem. And when it comes to movie announcements, who the fuck cares? Okay, so we get our our, our hopes up for a couple of hours and then we find out later on that it's not happening. Oh, well, boo-hoo. But this happens with news. This happens with politics, like where people get their actual information that they make giant life day, life-changing life decisions based off of. Just, oh, that, that headline I agree with or that headline triggers me, so I'm just going to share it without clicking on it. And just using this as an example, if you just click on this page that has been shared around all fucking day long, it's a profile that is called Yoda BBY ABY. And the first fucking thing that stares you in the face when you click this thing is the intro headline that says, I'm just here to eat frogs, lift rocks and be satirical. The page is 100 percent satire and fake news and you scroll around even if you don't want to look past the posts that you actually clicked on you can just look at the posts that are sandwiched on top of and bottom of this fred post you got a obviously photoshopped poster of ty sheridan in an american psycho max series followed by look who's talking again <laughs> look who's fucking talking again scroll up a little higher You've got twins, too. You got Anya Taylor-Joy and Cody Smith-McPhee and Rosemary's Baby. Like, guys. And, and all of these posts, like 682 shares, 132 shares, 51 shares. Like, okay, that's somebody's having fun with these fake posters. It's, it's a good laugh, you know, whatever. The, I'm sure the page is fun for those that like it. 32,000 fucking people blew this post up. With full seriousness saying, oh, my God, guys, new Nightmare on Elm Street, finally, Rob Zombie, HBO Max, DJ Qualls. I don't even know who that is, but fuck it, Freddy. This stuff kills me. This stuff kills me. How often these obviously fake articles and headlines, and this is innocent enough. This person is telling you it's fake. So I don't blame them whatsoever. They're just having fun making shit. But there's serious people that actually want just clicks they want the engagement. They want to monetize off of people's gullibility, especially on Twitter, by making fake movie announcements and having the whole fan base run fucking amok with it for 24 hours before everybody that knows better is saying, stop, it's fake. What the fuck are you? 300,000 quote tweets. Are you fucking kidding me? That's the that's the world we live in. That's the world we live in. And it just drives me nuts at least at least once every two weeks. There's something like this, especially in the horror community that just this gets set on fire for 24 hours and all of us are just going, God, what the fuck? What the fuck, guys? No, no. The guy from the new guy is not teaming up with Rob Zombie to bring us a Freddy 10 episode event on HBO Max that's coming to us in a couple of months and we've never heard anything about it until today. So in conclusion, to, to put to bed my little rant for the night, one, it shows you how hungry the world is for a new Nightmare on Elm Street property that this would get people so excited and would make them throw out any common sense whatsoever to share this just because of just pure unadulterated excitement. And that's awesome. That is something to take away from this as a positive is that everybody is so ready for Freddy to make his return that just a slight hint, just a scent of that happening is going to set the world on fire. That is fucking awesome. And whoever the hell is in charge of making those decisions at the West Craven estate or whoever holds the rights, like tick tock, motherfucker, let's go. Like you're leaving money on the table, but more importantly, guys, I mean, like, again, this is innocent. This is whatever. Like I'm giving it way more, way more heat and way more passion than it probably deserves. But just as a kind of a cautionary tale, using a simple, innocent example like this, just, just try to do better as far as clicking on something and looking deeper than the headline and actually research and stuff before you share it. Because my God, like for as much misinformation that is out there right now that is just plaguing my generation and those that are just a little older and a little younger, like we got to try to leave a better world for our kids. Like they're going to be even worse than us if that's the world that we live in. We're just, it, hey, that looks cool. Share, share. And now that's the truth. That is truth that is out there for a whole selection of people that probably have not looked past the eight word headline. So, uh, yeah, there's no Fred series. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. 
but just try not to fall victim to this stuff anymore. <laughs> and if you're one of those people that's putting this fake shit out here, stop it. Because you're the problem. Damn it. I just want Freddy back. Well, that's it for this one, guys. If you enjoyed that little tongue lashing, that sounded overly sexual. Here is a Nightmare on Elm Street review series that you can check out, a whole playlist of those, as well as my Nightmare on Elm Street tier list for you to check out if you are a fan of this franchise. Like, share, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a bunch of stuff in the future. And as always, remember, opinions are like assholes. That doesn't mean you have to be.